I... <gasps> oh. oh, gosh. Okay. Wait. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so the talent doesn't run in the family, okay? Welcome to Cosplay Life. I'm Air Bear. When you last left me, I didn't know what I was doing at the crown. And uh, that's where I still am. I had some thoughts. I don't want it to look like a kid's craft project. And along that, those lines, I feel like I might have gone too far with the scales. I wanted some sort of texture on it. I don't scales, I don't think scales was that texture. I could also just cut it to the edge. Like that's probably gonna be the first step is cutting off the excess so I can see what I have. Let's go find some scissors. It doesn't look bad once you cut it. Hey, so I... <gasps> oh gosh. Not that over top. I don't know if it was on there or not, but it was full of water and it spilled all over this thing. Thankfully, this is just foam. And it's trash foam anyway. So if it gets wet, it's okay. That just happened. <laughs> and now I'm thirsty. I got a package in the mail. This thing. There it is. So I'm gonna try this for my glue, to keep the glue in. It's easier for applying it. I don't know how great it's gonna be for actually keeping it, um, keeping it from getting old. So we'll see. We're on Wednesday now with no work getting done yesterday. I forgot I need like a claspy clasp thing on the top of this. I want it like a sort of something up there. I'm gonna try to draft that. I have been itchy for most of today. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Yeah. Okay. Is what drawn? That's what I had in my head. All right. Let's cut this out of craft foam. I also want holes in it. I'm wondering if the soldering iron will do it. Let's actually transfer what we want done on here so that I know, because right now, I don't. Oh, this is nice. This is so much nicer. Oh my gosh, I don't even understand. This is so much better. <laughs> I need a heat for it so that it will thin. But oh my gosh, right now it looks so good. My circle's got kind of stretched out a little bit. I think it's time for the belt. Like I want to do a belt that is separate pieces because I've gained weight and I want to lose weight and I want it to fit regardless. So I figure if I do like maybe three separate pieces that are connected. If I do lose weight, then I can adjust. I did draw a design last night for the belt. I think I'm going with that one because I just like the, um, I think I like that look. So yeah, I'm going to measure some poop. So, um, it's time for me to get ready to go to work. I'll see you later. Hey guys, this week we are going to continue down the road to Dragon Con. We've been doing some stuff, <laughs> like finishing up school and we went to um, Disney. Insert pictures of Disney here.
So yeah, we've been doing some stuff. But now, school's out, it's time to focus on cosplay. I am going to go ahead and do this belt. Last time you saw me, I patterned it already. So now I'm just gonna put it down on some foam, go ahead and cut it. I gotta look back at my gauntlets to see how thick the under foam was there, cause I wanna do it the same. I'm gonna go grab that, I'll be right back. All right, I'm looking at it. It was, a, it was a two millimeter thick one. So yeah, I did I did the thinner foam and then I just uh, layered it with the thicker foam, which was a good choice. My two millimeter thick craft foam and I have my bag of scraps. So if you go back to previous videos, I was using this ruler and um, I lost the ruler. Recently refound it. So now it is going to be my cosplay ruler. Hey, strawberries. <laughs> Big old strawberry. Got a butt. It's got a butt. Eh, eh, got a butt. Alright, just labeling my pieces. Okay, so now we need to make scales. I'm not looking forward to making scales insert some speed footage of me making scales right now. So I did not get much done last night. We went to Athens to go run some errands. So I'm going to get back at it and continue to work on scales. <laughs> I'm so tired of doing scales. Oh, awesome. I have on my Cow Appreciation Day shirt, which is the shirt I won when I was doing a cow competition, or yeah, Chick-fil-A competition for Cow Appreciation Day. So this is kind of like my cosplay shirt. tried this thing. We'll see how that works. Ooh. I knew that I should have looked at my uh, design before I started just gluing on these scales, but I didn't. I'm gonna go ahead and make my trim. But I need to look back at my gauntlet to make sure that the trim kinda goes together. I see that it is rounded on both sides and I use the thicker trim. So we're gonna have a rounded piece going here and a rounded piece going here. On the side pieces, where I start on the bottom, is gonna be very similar to how this one starts. So I'm going to figure out how big I made my trim on these pieces. I also realized on this piece, I start thinner and then get bigger and then go back thin again. I did not draw that in my design for the middle piece, but I maybe kind of want that. I'm about to journal. <laughs> Look at my cone head. There's a bun under there. Anywho, um, <laughs> I am going to go ahead and dremel the trim. 
Uh, so I can go ahead and glue it on. But I'm only dremeling the inside edge because I want to dremel the outside edges together so that it all blends together. Ooh, I'm just now noticing that I have this edge right here. It's gonna be very difficult for me to get into. And what I would like to do is use a sanding stick in there instead of using the Dremel. I have not used these since I got the Dremel, basically. I have coarse, medium, and fine. But if you're gonna, if you intend on cosplaying, I highly suggest getting a Dremel because it makes life so much easier. A Dremel and a heat gun. I wanted to do a whole video on like my recommendations of things to get if you plan on like just things to get and maybe what order to get them in. If you're interested in like my tools and the tools that I love, eh, you probably don't even need to like it. I'll probably just do that video. Cause I like, you know, something that I've realized about myself recently, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I really like countdowns. Like I love countdown videos and people, and I just love like looking up countdowns, like top 10 sort of things. And I love it when they go like 10 to one. It's just, it's my favorite. Not my favorite, but I do love that kind of stuff. So I may do one of those, a Air Bear's favorite tool. I have not dremeled like this in a while. Or not dremeled, I have not rounded things like this in a while. But like, I like this because it has a flat edge and I can get in there a little bit easier than I would be able to with the, um, with the dremel. That's why I'm using this instead. This is looking pretty good. All right, so we just did the 80 grit. Now we're gonna do the medium grit. Ooh, I have more control with this thing. It just doesn't go as fast. Oh, it's smoothing it out, so nice, so nice. All right, we did the smoothing one. Now I'm gonna do the finish. Gee, this doesn't feel fine enough for finish, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a try. And we're not gonna go in two directions because I don't think that's good. All right, so we have a rounded edge right there in the middle. Not as round as I want, but like when you stretch it out, it kind of rounds it a little bit more. So that's that. Now we're going to actually use the Dremel. But look, I do still have a need for these. These labels aren't correct. All right, so we're gonna dremel the inside edge of everything, starting now. Just burped up in my mask. <laughs> I've dremeled everything. I am just going to glue them. Well, glue the ones I need to glue to the pieces that I need to glue them to. Okay, all right, so it's gonna be a lot more the same. I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow morning and then I'll come back to you once this is done and this is done. And this, well, these are already done. See, they're already done. It's time for dinner. Hey, we are going to finish this belt. Well, at least finish like the scales on this belt. Today, The next step for this is going to be um, dremeling the top edge, which on my gauntlets is a straight edge and it's actually like beveled in. 
and the bot and the bottom of it is rounded as well so I may round this top edge up here and then bevel this bottom edge actually I may do that Ooh, look at that that lines up pretty nicely the belt is about to be done I'm trying to get all the pieces that need foam armory stuff done so that it can all be spray painted at the same time because most of it's going to be gold so what that means is the part that i've been avoiding is finally here which is the chest piece i've never successfully made a chest piece before like i've made a chest piece but it fell apart while i was wearing it so i'm trying to figure out how to do it like i can't go without a bra i'm gonna need something underneath it and I, I, I gotta figure out what is going under in order to support everything. My first thought was to glue it all to a bra, but the shape of the armor, it comes underneath the boobs a little bit. And so I would need, if I were to go that route, I would need to glue the shells to the bra and then have something else that attaches underneath my bra. And then there's also the question of how are you going to get into the bra? <laughs> so I'm a little bit hesitant to just do it straight onto a bra, but um, I'm thinking the route I'm going to go is I'm going to make a top. This is the same pattern that I used to make Jasmine's top. And it zips up in the back. So making another top like this and attaching the armor to it, cause this comes underneath my bra a little bit. The only thing is, is that the foam won't be as fitted if I do it to fit this. So um, I'm gonna wait until the last piece is finished drying for the belt. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to possibly research some fabric. Okay, I have figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean up and um, kind of reset the room. And I am going to make that little shirt that I showed before, I'm gonna make that using black, probably black knit because I have that available to me. Um, I don't have a black zipper. So I'll just have to make it without the zipper for now and just get a zipper when I can go to Joanne's and get a zipper. Um, but make that and then that is what I'm going to attach everything else to. I'm going to clean up the room and get some black fabric out and pattern. Look at this mess. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you think my mess is complete? Would my love love to explore the shore of the world? Got this one went to Disney. It's from Batu. This is the pattern. It's supposed to be for a um, non-stretch fabric, but I imagine that you can still do it with a stretch fabric. Okay, eyes up here. I was trying to figure out if I could possibly just make it all one piece so that I don't need a zipper. I could just stretch it over my head, but I can't because the stitch I just put in it is not a zigzag stitch, so it's not a stretch stitch. So, I'm just gonna need to add a zipper. Once I get the zipper in there, then I can put plastic over this thing and then do a um, pattern or template off of this. So, look at that. This fabric we got for making masks. I know that we probably won't need to wear masks pretty soon, but I like masks. <laughs> how cute like look at the cute fabric that you could get and you can just wear it on your face all the time oh my gosh and 
If you're wearing a mask, no one sees when stuff is in your teeth. No one sees when your face is dirty. No one sees if you're smiling at them, if you're making a face about something stupid they just said. If you're trying to discipline a child, but like really what they do is pretty funny, they won't see you laughing. <laughs> all things have happened. I got two of these because I use them all the time. I got one in white and one in black because I use this pattern all the time. Here it is. We're one step closer to having a chest piece. Throw some pearls on it, got some seaweed. Oh my gosh, you got a cosplay, baby. Top is made. Now what we'll need to do next is put some plastic on me, put some duct tape on me, and draw a design. Or just draw the template for the, for the chest armor. I think it should probably be higher up the camera, right? Yeah. I don't like it like that. Oh. Makes my head look small. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what you find so funny when your regular sized human head. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. You gotta be quicker than that. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> we need to redo it. <laughs> yeah, okay. let's redo it. Look at me, all right. <laughs> Sorry, it's like a poor assistant. Just an extra set of hands. Might as well be a monkey. <laughs> so the talent doesn't run in the family, okay? Okay. Now. <laughs> Call for your help. That's the type of thing I've done in my life. <laughs> tape thing majiggy. Now we need to clean it up and we cut off all the extra plastic. or anytime, basically anytime you're going from curve to flat or flat to curve, there's a dart somewhere in there. All right, that's cool, that's cool stuff. I've got my wine and I've got my whiskey. Tonight I'm gonna get a little tipsy. Sounds like somebody's listening to that type of music out there. Man, somebody might be having a family reunion out there. Not because I hear a bunch of people, but just because the music is still continuing. Oh no, there's something happening. <laughs> no, there's people with lawn chairs. I'm going investigating. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can figure out what this is. Pull that mask up over your nose, ma'am. So yeah, we don't live like the area where you always hear police sirens. There's also random festivals and things that happen. It was a jazz festival sort of thing. These are my registration marks. <laughs> this is the second time I've been in the middle of recording something and is that music? 
Is that the Greensboro <laughs> High School band? <laughs> all right, well, I got all sweaty and dirty from going outside, so yeah. <laughs> I finished tracing, so there's that. So that about does it for this week. I decided to end it there. I forgot to actually do an outro, but if you have any questions about any of the things that you saw in this video, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. You can also leave comments down there. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe um, and click on the notification bell so you can get a notification when that video comes out or when the next video comes out. Other than that, I will catch you guys next week, which is actually this week in my time because I forgot to do an outro. So, I'll catch you all next week. Bye. Deuces!